All right, we in the NBA 2K24 rec center. We got leaked rec center footage. The locker room looks pretty much the same. We got folks sitting down, actually, this time. That's different. That's big different. Face off looking the same. Okay, okay. Matchups looking. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. We're not going to let them slide that one in there. We got player DNA, badge DNA, best attributes right here. And you can scroll through each player, it looks like, previous and next. Only thing I could see is they would want to hang that screen for a little bit longer so that we can really get through all five players if we really want to scout. Because, you know, that little bit of time that they flicked that up there, that just wasn't enough. All right, but all in all, this rec build look crazy, bro. This looks crazy right now. All right, first of all, let's address. We read in the middle of the court right here. You can read right here in the middle of the court. This is a community day court. And then on the baseline right there, it says all new rec coming season two. So we can we can go ahead and deduce that they haven't had enough time to get the rec center straight yet. So we got to wait till season two for our rec center. I wonder what the rec is going to look like in season one. I mean, I can say it looks smooth. The gameplay looks smooth. The movement looks smooth. Um, the commentator of this video did say that they didn't get to pick their SIGs. So they're moving on factory SIGs. I don't know if they got to pick their jumpers. So they may be working on factory jumpers. These are well-known players that you know from Community Day here playing. We don't know who's who because they're all using serial numbers. They don't have they don't have their names under their bills. They all have serial code numbers. So we don't know who's who exactly, but we do know that this gameplay looks really smooth. All right, and we can get our first look at the grading system. And it, this is looking nice up here. This is looking nice up here. It looks like... Those first two bars are takeover meters. Boom. And that third bar, I'm not too sure what that is yet. I'm still kind of kind of trying to figure that out. But the box looks it looks nice. It's a nice looking box. The grader system looks nice. Everything is looking pretty good so far. I'm, I might I just might be foaming at the mouth waiting to get to this uh this rec center, you know what I'm saying? And seeing as how it's not coming out until season 2, um, we're going to have time to build our builds, get our builds right. We're going to have enough time to get our players straight, get our badges up. So, I mean, that's a plus, you know, it's, we're not going to have our, but it makes me question, are we going to have a rec center for a season one or is there going to be no rec or just, we're going to have the old rec from last year. Um, that's, there's a lot of questions we draw on from this. Okay. And we get a chance to look at some of these build names. We got a spot up threat. A shot creating three level threat, a glass cleaning interior threat. We got a lot of threats out here, a three and D threat. And then we have a defensive anchor. And that's kind of threatening. I don't know. That's a lot of threats out there, bro. So build names are diverse this year. I mean, I see a lot of threats, so I wouldn't say diverse as much as they're definitely different from last year. Last year, you saw inside out everything. So this year, I guess we're going to see threats all over the place. I mean, it's not giving me too much hope for diversity in builds, but it's a good look to see different builds this year instead of just six, nine inside outs everywhere. The point guard does look like a six, one, maybe a six, three. Um, it looks like a six, six out there on the wing. It looks like I see I see some different heights. Everybody's not six nine. That's that's a that's a plus. That's definitely a plus for me. Some of these badges that I see popping up are smoked. I'm I'm seeing W badges souped up. They're popping out there. Bronze everything. So everybody's on bronze badges. Everybody's on default sigs. I don't know about the jumpers though, but I do like how smooth. This point guard is kind of moving. That must be Fanta. That has to be Fanta. Um, yeah, the yellow the yellow guard has to be Fanta. He, he's moving and grooving. I don't know who the purple guys are, but I'm pretty sure that... Uh, I don't know. I don't like that. He kind of running out of bounds a little bit. It looks like it's pretty easy to get that run out of bounds animation for now. So, you know... Keep that in mind on the opening day. But um, there's a there's a lot going on here. There's a lot to dissect in here. OK, so we see right here. Quick drops are still here, but he didn't go up with it until he got to that low box. 
So, I mean, and it didn't look as quick as it may, you know, may have been able to look last year. So it's still there. The quick drop was there. We saw that was the quick drop, but it wasn't as overpowered as he didn't fly from half court like Superman out here, like Michael Jordan. So, I mean, that's comforting to know that he's not, they're not going to be launching quick drops from an unpredictable space where you can't block it. That quick drop looked like it could have got blocked on. All right, so leave it down in the comment section what you think about this rec center display right here from Community Day. And then let me know what you think about us not getting a rec center update until season two. That's kind of alarming, but I can understand that they've probably been working around the clock to get the game suitable for drop day. And, you know, I can I guess we can we can take that L. We can we can use that time to get our players right, you know. It, and it it may it may be by design, you know, where who knows? We can't call it, but that's my opinion on it. Let me know what you think about that and like and subscribe. I'm bringing you a couple more videos today. Hopefully, if I can get them out in time.